So how flexible is it? I noticed that the guy that was doing it yesterday was going all over the place. Ah, it, it is flexible, but you cannot roll it. Yeah. And I don't actually I don't remember what is the radius, but we have uh, adjusted it so that it doesn't require much force. So it's pretty sensitive to your movements, and and that is because for the users it's much nicer that you don't have to kind of use the, all the power to do stuff. It's a polymer. So by twisting you go up and down and by bending you open up an application and once again you can twist, browse the photo step by step or if you continue the twisting it goes faster and immediately when you stop it stops so, so it's a very nice way to go through long lists. Can you also use your fingers on the screen? Sorry? Can you also use your fingers on the screen? This is not a top, but we are not thinking about replacing the top. For example, typing would be quite quite difficult with this, so we are thinking that what adds value beyond that. So, for example, one hand use it, so if the device is in your pocket, it would be very easy to to control the volume or, or change the songs. So that is the that is the purpose. But we are not replacing the top, but to, to add something. And this is all just like a prototype obviously. At this the is a research prototype, yes. We are from Nokia Research Center and this is a research prototype. And we are studying the, the user experience, uh, interaction and then the other guys over there are, are concentrating on the technology development. Can I? Can I?